Hi teachers, this is Mike from Prodigy Support and today I have some tips about ending the school year with Prodigy but having your students continue to play during the summer and be ready to come back in the fall. Now we all know about the existence of summer learning loss. Did you know that on average students lose about 2.6 months worth of grade level equivalency in mathematical computation skills during the summer break? Students will score lower on standardized tests at the end of the summer vacation than they do at the beginning of summer break. This kind of learning loss can be minimized by having them play Prodigy over the summer. As many teachers already have let us know, their students are pretty excited and engaged by playing Prodigy and our goal here is to keep them engaged in math, so our tips today will be about making sure they are able to log in properly and continue playing. We'll also look at how in the fall, when students return, how easy it is for them to join a new class without requiring a new account. The first thing you'll want to do before school ends for the summer is archive your existing class or classes. You could choose to delete your class that you will no longer be teaching, but archiving it instead allows you to keep a record of the student usernames and passwords. Students have a tendency to lose this information, but by archiving the class you can recover it for them if needed. Our multiple classes feature allows you to have many classes within your account, so you can archive this year's and create new ones for next year's students. To make an archive class is simple. Select the gear icon of the class and change the name of it indicating it's no longer in use. For the next step, click into the archived class and go to the planner. Ensure that there are no assignments, topic plans or test preps that are still in place and remove them if there is. Students over the summer will work on questions from all over the curriculum with Prodigy adapting to their abilities. Next, click on where it says Students to view your class list. You probably already printed out parent letters at the beginning of the year, however we recommend before students go home for the summer doing it one more time so both the student and the parent have a paper record of the student's username and password that you can send home with them. If a student from this archived class ever needs their username and password, you can see a list of all their logins by clicking on View Login Info here. With their username and password, students can continue to access Prodigy from home or wherever they want to play over the summer. No further action is required on your part. However, if you are so inclined, you can view the reports for this archived class and follow their progress just like during the school year. Next, let's talk about returning students in the fall. A common mistake made when students begin a new school year is that new accounts are created for them by their teacher. This is definitely not required nor encouraged. Students have worked hard to build their progress in Prodigy and we want to encourage they use the same login information from last year and what they have been using over the summer. Oftentimes they might have a membership associated with this account and will want to continue to use it. When you return to using your Prodigy teacher account in the fall, you will want to create a brand new class for your students. Doing so in Prodigy is easy, just click on the plus sign, name your class, and choose the grade. You can create multiple classes just like before. Each class will have its own brand new unique class code. To add students to this class, click View Class, and then Add Students, for students that already have accounts from last year, all you have to do is provide them with the new class code. Once they have the code, they would log into Play Prodigy and update their account with the new class code. Once they've done this, they will be joined to your class automatically and there is no need for them to enter the code again. You will now be able to assign all the new work for this year and you can update their grade level if you like by editing their profile in your class list. So the key tips here are to archive your old class rather than deleting it because there will likely be a few students who lose their login information. Printing parent letters and sending them home with students is another way to make sure they have a copy of their login information so they can play over the summer. And when students return in the fall, you now know how to link their existing accounts to your new class without having to assign new logins. Thanks for watching and have a great summer break.